how do we realign the system and what are, what are, what's the easy fruit and in incentive realignment? Oh God, I, w- I wish it was, I, I, for me, it just kind of comes down to, to always kind of try, we're not, I'm not sure we're going to fully change it in any direction. And I think you know, right. the, the bigger change sort of comes in bending in that direction. So, you know, I, I, I think the power of employers and the power of organization is you know, under, under, I think we've unrealized the, the potential there. I think there, there aren't lots of parts of the industry that are really looking for efficient global health care. It's, you know, Medicare and we'll, you can debate on how effective they are. And then the employer side of the house. And so to, the employers trying to do it on their own. And I, I has, no matter how big as you are, even if you're really huge, you might be concentrated in one part of the country. Maybe you can affect change in this area. So I think the employer voices getting together is really important to so kind of saying, this is what we need. And if I have one other sort of PSA, and I, I you know, still do some mission-related work with Eric and the risk industry committee, a, a lot of the employer organizations like HTA, Business Group on Health and all, the, to the extent you all represent employers, but to the extent you can sort of find some common themes and common messaging, because I think that's one of the biggest challenges I think happens in the, the industry is if... You know, if I'm hearing what this group says is important as this, and this group is important this, and this group isn't looking for bundled payments, and this group is looking for this, the health industry mm-hmm. is like, well, look, you're all asking for something different. Therefore, I'm just going to proceed as I'm doing today. Mm-hmm. So I do believe in sort of, you know, everyone has their own missions, but if there are things that are common, if they hear the same thing from four of the groups, then they'll recognize that, yeah, we probably do need to change because I do think they need to be pushed. I think they need to go through. But I think the more we fragment our voices as employers in this industry, I think the, the harder it is to, to effectuate change. So if you want your patient to remember nothing, tell them 10 things. <laughs> if you want the industry to do nothing, ask them for 10 things. Okay. You got it. <laughs>